Hi, I'm Mike and I'm here to talk about the installation of the Kiwi Wi-Fi. The Kiwi Wi-Fi in the box, you'll get the actual Kiwi Wi-Fi with the Wi-Fi dongle, a little on and off switch on the side there, the OBD2 plug, very important. Next, it'll come with instructions. The instructions say it won't take long, and it, and it doesn't, believe me. What you want to do first is you want to connect your OBD2 cable to your vehicle's OBD2 port, which is located um, on the driver's side of 1996 newer vehicles, very accessible, it needs to be, mechanics need to get to it, as well as you will now need to get to it. And again, it's very accessible, you probably don't even know you have it. Step two, you want to go to your settings on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Once you're in your settings, whether you have your um, Wi-Fi on or off, you want to turn it on, for sure. Uh, tap on the PLX, you'll see it written underneath Choose a Network. Uh, you will tap on PLX and then tap on the little blue arrow to the right of PLX. You'll tap on the tab that says Static. Um, in the IP address field, you want to type in 192.168.0.11. Once you're done doing that, you want to go into the subnet mask field and you want to type in 255.255.255.0. Don't worry about the other fields, you want to leave those you want to leave those settings blank. And then you're done. You are absolutely done. You're connected our Wi-Fi to your iPhone or iPod Touch.